Hi, I'm Andrew, and welcome back to GeForce Garage. On the last series, we focused on the Red Harbinger Cross Desk, turning this awesome desk into an amazing PC powered by four GTX Titan Blacks on either side, custom water cooling, some amazing LED lighting, turn this thing into a monster. Chances are you don't have a Red Harbinger Cross Desk at home, so in this series we're going to focus on taking a traditional PC and using some simple tools and techniques to make a really awesome custom rig. So the case we're going to focus on in this series is the wildly popular Antec 900. A lot of you guys already know about this case, but the thing to remember is all the tips and tricks we're going to teach you in this series can apply to any case. So don't worry if you don't have this case, we're going to teach you how to do it anyway. On today's episode, we're going to show you guys a classic mod, cutting a window into your side panel so you can see all the awesome components inside. Now, if you guys have tried this before at home, you know that it's easy to make it look a little jagged, rough. So we got Rod from BS Mods in the house today to show us how to make it look professional. Uh, some of you guys may remember Rod from Mod24. He's an excellent guy, great skills. So what technique are you going to show us today? So a lot of people use a Dremel to cut a window. Okay. And today I'm going to show you a different technique that produces a cleaner factory finished window. Nice. Awesome. Let's get cracking. Here are the tools we're going to be using for today's tutorial. Gloves protect the digits, hearing protection for the power tools, and safety goggles. And when we have sharp pieces of metal flying around, we'll be using a face shield for the ultimate protection. For preparation, we have masking tape, a regular tape measure, a Sharpie marker, combination square, stainless ruler, calipers for scribing onto the panel extremely accurately. Moving on to power tools, we have a cordless drill and drill bits, a jigsaw for the rough cut with metal cutting blades, and a router for doing the final cut with a ball bearing flush cut bit. For the finish of the panel, we have a deburr tool, a variety of files, sandpaper, gasket maker to mount the acrylic, and a sander for finish before we paint it. Here we have our blank Antec 900 panel ready to position our window. And the first things you want to make sure is that the acrylic you're going to use, which still has the protective film on, will fit on the back and not interfere with the latching mechanism. To test this, you can tape your acrylic in the position it'll be for the window and then fit it to your case. For the final measurements of the panel, we're going to be one inch from the top, one inch from the bottom, two inches from the back to avoid the latch problem, and five inches from the front to hide the drive base. To prepare for our cut, which will be inside of our final dimension, we need to mark out a quarter inch in on the window to lay out our jigsaw cut. For this, I'll be using a set of calipers, and we'll simply just scribe our line in. We'll mark five and a quarter from the front, so we have our extra quarter inch of material to remove, and inch and a quarter from the top and bottom. Okay, and now we can mark our cut with some blue tape to have an easy edge to follow, but also protect the rest of the panel. Always double check your measurements before you finalize for your cut. We're now ready to cut the holes in our panel in preparation to use a jigsaw to cut out the panel. For this, we'll be using a 3 8 inch bit, which is big enough for the jigsaw blade to get into. We want to make sure the bit stays within our marked lines, so I'm just going to throw a quick Sharpie mark to show where to start my pilot hole. There's a small bit, and we've got safety glasses on now that we're using power tools. Underneath, I've got a board to make sure that I'm not going to bend or drill through anything that I don't want to. Now I'll move on to the finish bit. Okay, now that the holes are drilled, we're ready to use the jigsaw to get our rough cut. Remember the jigsaw blade goes below your surface so you don't cut or damage a table. Now we've finished the rough cut for our panel and we're ready for the template and router. So here's the template we're gonna use we have positioned our panel on a backer plate and we've used blocks to hold the panel up to support it when we're cutting it with the router. We've also drilled holes, three on each side, to clamp the template down to the back plate to hold the whole panel in position while we're using the router. We've gone ahead and clamped the template and back plate to the table so it doesn't move around while we put the screws in.
Now that our panel is clamped down, we're ready to go ahead and use the router. We've got our router bit installed, and before we go to the cutting, we're going to step up to safety. We have earplugs, gloves, face shield. All right, that's about it. One thing when making this cut is to make sure you control the router and the router doesn't control you. So use a firm grip when moving the router along the edge. We've taken our panel out of the template and we now have our fresh router cut, which is still sharp. We now need to deburr the edges, both on the front and the back, and then file out and sand any imperfections that the router might have left. For the corners, you can use a round file or half round file. In this case, we'll use the round file. For the last step, we'll use a mouse sander and sand any file marks out and make sure it's nice and smooth. Acrylic, still with the protective sleeving or paper, is still on it so we don't scratch it while we're fitting it. It's just marking where the inside of the window is so when we prep it for the adhesive, we know where we can sand. We're going to sand right where the window is going to adhere to the inside of the panel. Okay, to prep the acrylic, we're going to remove the plastic layer that will be the front face as we put our marks on the back. At this point, you have to be very careful not to scratch the acrylic as it's very soft material. We're going to go ahead and sand up to our marks. The next step is to apply the adhesive to the acrylic panel, then apply it to our window panel. We use the right stuff, which is a gasket maker. Many other adhesives may work, but this is what we've had the best luck with. You just need a fine bead right near the edge. Carefully take your panel and align it with the marks we made before. And press it down firmly. We're going to add this weight to the acrylic while it cures. And now it's time for a game break. Now that we've let the adhesive cure, we can now take the film off the back of our acrylic and the tape off the front of our panel. Our panel is pretty much done. We have a few finishing touches, but let's go put it on the case. There you go. Now you can see all your kick-ass hardware. Dude, that is awesome. Uh, remember, you can do this mod to any case. It doesn't have to be the Antec 900. Thanks so much for coming in, Rod, um, and showing us that great technique. Go over to geforce.com slash garage, where we have a written guide for every episode that we've done of this show. If you like this video and you're looking for more just like it, Click here to check out some other stuff. And if you want to check out our second clickable video inside this regular video, click here.